On today's video, we start on a 61 Dodge. Hello everybody, my name is Patrick and this is Dad Life Projects. Today, we start on the 61 Dodge Dart Phoenix. Yes, all I want to do today is try to get it started. So, or figure out what it needs to get, to actually get it to run. So, let's go ahead and get this going. Here are some of the tools that I'm probably gonna be needing. I'm gonna use some, uh, I got carp cleaner, I got some WD-40. I do have some rags, I got a voltmeter, a flashlight, a couple, couple adjustable wrenches, screwdriver, pliers, Phillips, a remote starter switch in case I need it. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, let's start. As you can see, I have my battery tender already on there and it says it is in storage. So let's go ahead and take this off. Let me go ahead and take off air filter. Oh, look at that small, wow, it's a small carburetor. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the oil, make sure we have plenty of oil in it. I don't want to start it without oil. <laughs> oh yeah, right up there on full. As you can see in the video here, where I talked about in the last video, they replaced the cap, the plug wires. Um, I would assume the plugs too. Well, no, maybe not on the plugs, but, and they said the guy I bought it from, he got it running. It was running. So, and, he saw, and they ran a line for gas. So let's do this. What else do I need to do? I don't know. I guess maybe that's it. Let me go and see if it's going to turn over. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I have a, I have my mallet, my uh, equalizer, I guess you would call it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try to beat on it a little bit, see if I can free it up. Let's go ahead. Try it one more time after beating it. No. Ah. All right, let's go ahead. Let's check the volts on my battery. Make sure it's giving out 12 volts, at least 12 volts. Turn that. Put that, put that right there, maybe. And oh yes, almost 13, 12.92. So it's not the battery. Battery's good. All right then. Let's go ahead. 
All right, I'm gonna use the uh, external starter switch. Just bypass the ignition and see if that's, that's the problem, is the ignition. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll hook the black one up to the starter solenoid itself. to the hot on the battery. See if anything. Let's try it. Oh. Well, this turned into trying to start the car to replace a, a starter. Or, or removing a starter, actually. All right, let's go ahead and do that then. All right now, I'm gonna jack up the car. All right, let's go ahead and try to take off this starter. Now in hindsight, I probably should have done this, I should have took off the top bolt before I jacked the car up, but I really didn't know what to expect. So I just assumed, because like on Chevy's, you just jack it up and you go underneath there and do it. Not on Mopar. So, and I am too lazy to take it down and uh, to change it. So I'm just gonna get a, a, a stool here or a ladder, a step ladder, and go ahead and try to do this myself. And I also did already take off the uh, the positive on the battery, so there's no, shouldn't be any chance of me electrocuting myself or catching the car on fire. So let's go ahead and see if I can get this off. <clears throat>
things you gotta do. See what I gotta do here. Let's see if we can get this thing out. It probably weighs 60 pounds. Well, maybe, I don't know how much it weighs, but it looks pretty damn heavy. Wow. There it is. Oh yes, wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. As you see right here, it has been well worn. It is used, I mean, wow. It, yeah, it was going out. It's just, I mean, get a nice close up on that. It's just been used, it's a be, wow. <laughs> I'm surprised. So, let's, let's check it all out. Now, I have to either get this one rebuilt or I buy a kit to rebuild it myself. You cannot go down to parts houses. They don't make them anymore. They don't rebuild them anymore. So I have to decide on that. I haven't decided yet. I've never rebuilt a starter before. So that could be fun or it could be horrible. I'll just have to see. But that's, a, that's what I'm looking at. That's going to do it for today's project. If you like any of the products used today, the links to the products are down below. If you like this video or any of my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at dadlifeprojects or email me at dadlifeprojects at gmail.com. Remember, for any project you do, you are the project manager. See you next time.